Hi everyone, I hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite YouTuber. Today we're going to be talking about what to do when you feel bad while manifesting for something. Is it important? Is it going to ruin your manifestation? We're going to be talking all about that today. But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe. On this channel, I talk about all things law of assumption. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. If you are manifesting an SP, I highly recommend for you to enroll in my Manifest Your SP course. Click on the first link in the description box down below or go to ritakaminski.com and click the Manifest Your SP course tab. Additionally, if you would like to book one-on-one -on -one coaching with me that will be in the second link in the description box down below or all of the information is again on readkaminski.com if you would like to join collective coaching just click the join button right next to my name what that will do is it will give you access to about 40 videos by now and counting where you get to see all the questions asked from the past year and my answers to them. You get a deeper knowledge about law of assumption by learning from specific examples. And the T is that you can also ask any questions as you want an unlimited amount of times and I will include it in the next members only video. It can be anonymous, it can be non-anonymous, it's up to you. This is a great community where we all talk and learn about the law of assumption. If members only is not available in your country, you can click the Patreon link right below, the link in the description box down below that gives you access to members only. It is the Patreon link, it is the exact same program. Exact same videos, exact same content. This is what you do when you feel bad while you are manifesting something. Whether it has to do with your manifestation or not, you're just having a rough day. Acknowledge the unpleasant feelings instead of trying to suppress them. Accept where you are right now, accept your feelings. The next thing we're gonna do is engage in activities that bring you joy in this present moment. We do this by asking ourselves, what makes us feel the best in this present moment with what we have in this present moment out in front of me? That will lead you to everything. It will lead you to all of your manifestations. For example, right in front of me, I have a camera. I have a kitten that I'm taking care of. My partner is outside in the living room chilling. I have an abundance of options right now in front of me. I have my kitchen. I have the backyard. I can call up my friend. I have my car. I can go anywhere that I want. What feels the best in this current moment for me to do? What feels the best right now for me to do is film this YouTube video, then I'm going to chill a little bit, then I'm going to Vivid. This is a light show in Sydney with my boyfriend, and then we're gonna do a barbecue in the backyard, then I'm going to binge some Kirillin Barnett TikTok videos because I absolutely love her and I've been binging her forever now. <laughs> that is what feels the most natural for me right now. That is what makes me the happiest and I know that that is going to lead me to all of my manifestations. I know that it is going to bring me to my highest timeline. I already know that I am in my highest timeline simply by the fact that I'm choosing to do the things that make me feel the best in this current moment in time. I also want you to know this, it is okay when you're feeling down, overwhelmed, stressed, etc. Any emotion that is below neutral. It does not dictate your ability to achieve your desires. Society often ties in those emotions to success. Even the law of attraction community likes to say that you can only be in a high vibration to get your desires. But I have always said that that is not true. It helps. It does help when you are in a higher vibration. It speeds things up, but it is not necessary and once you follow my steps even when you are feeling down I, you don't need to go zero to a hundred you feel down what makes you feel the best in this moment to do is it talking shit getting some chips getting some alcohol i'm being dead at serious right now because when you do things out of love in the fact where you know that right now what makes you happy is having chips even though the underlying sort of circumstance from that is you might gain weight 
right? What will end up happening is that will give you pleasure. And if you are doing this correctly and continuously following what makes you feel the best in each moment and staying in that joyful energy where you are getting pleasure from said thing, what will happen really quickly, like I'm talking within 24 hours, is you won't even crave that low vibrational stuff because you are going to start feeling better and better and better. You will start getting more opportunities and more options to do things that are a little bit of a higher vibration and that will lead you to a higher mood and a higher timeline. The law of assumption dictates that it is whatever you assume it is. So what does a mood at the end of the day have anything to do with your manifestation? You can be in a bad mood and then you can want to manifest a cup of coffee. What do those two things have anything to do with each other? You have to see your manifestations as a steady force, independent of your current mood and circumstances. For example, think of some Something that you know for sure will never leave your life. This can be your sister. This can be your husband who is insanely good to you. This can be a very stable job that you've had for 20 years, right? It can be anything. The reason that that has stuck around for so long, newsflash, is because you have assumed that it is a steady force in your life. There is literally no difference between that and anything else that you want. So you have to set the assumption that that thing that you want is a steady force in your reality, regardless of your emotional state or your state in general, anything. Nothing can affect your manifestation. Your manifestation is a steady force. Let's say you're manifesting an SP and you're like, you know, I have to stay skinny, I have to have brunette hair, I have to have these blue eyes and blah, 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 blah. But why not assume for it to be whatever it is that we want? How we are right now, RSP wants us exactly the way that we are now and that is a steady force that cannot change So even if I change even if I lose weight or gain weight or I, I'm a bitch one day and I'm super nice the next day or However, it is that I am the steady force is that my SP is always gonna be obsessed with me No matter what no matter if I stop consciously manifesting for this guy no matter if my self-concept declines it does not matter because this SP will always be obsessed with me. I've set that as a steady assumption for myself, regardless of any other factors. For example, I view money as a certainty. I view money as a for sure thing. You can wake up super grumpy and super annoyed at everyone, but regardless of that, you will still earn money or whatever it is that you're manifesting. That thing has nothing to do with what you are manifesting. Your manifestation just is. Your desire is already in your life. It is a constant. It is a part of who you are. It is a part of your way of being. It's always there know it into being. It already is done. Your desire just is. With that being said, do you really want to feel bad? No. Do you have to feel bad? No. But does feeling bad mean that you're ruining your manifestations coming to light? Absolutely not. Of course not. No. There is nothing you can do to fuck up your manifestation. That is how it gets to be and that is the only reality that I'm available for. For myself, and for you guys. Your manifestations can come from infinite places and possibilities, regardless of what is going on with you, your life, and your world. And the outer world, everything. Your desire is not contingent on anything. And with that being said, I trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.